Welcome in. Today, this is going to be a video all about barbells for beginners. Now, we know that 65% of women avoid weights in fear of either being judged or just because they're on that autopilot of just being comfortable with doing the cardio. And 80% of women are gaining the weight back. Women now in this decade have been starting to learn more of the importance that the weightlifting actually has nothing to do with bulking. It is all about building that strength that shapes your body. It speeds your metabolism so that way we can keep that weight off for good whether you're at home or at the gym, and just having that ultimate just confidence that you can do it. And so we're gonna be going over three main points. It's gonna be one, we're gonna be focusing on how to lift it, how to activate it, and how we control it. The biomechanical and the physiological benefits of the smaller bar has the weight that's centered over the midline of your body, which equals better control, effectively isolates the targeted muscles, makes you go through that full range of motion, which helps prevent the injuries and tighten tone. So let's get started. If you can go ahead and grab your bar, let's do this together. I want this to be a very interactive video. So you're actually, as I'm talking about where you're feeling it and how to activate it. So go ahead and grab your bar. Let's go ahead and start. If you're a beginner, don't put any weight at all on your bar. Let's just use the bar itself. So the first thing that we're gonna go into is finding out how to lift it. Now you might go to the gym or you're at home and the bar is usually either gonna be on the ground or it might be up on some sort of rack. So at that point, we have to figure out how to lift it the best way. For a beginner, we always look for that lighter weight or even just the bar is totally perfect. The next thing as far as lifting it is we wanna get as close to the bar as we possibly can. So for example, if it's on some sort of shelf, you literally bring your body as close to you can to the shelf. The further away that you do so, you end up putting that torque into your back. Okay, so now let's say it's on the ground. Same thing, when you pick up this bar, you literally want it to be as close to your shins or your feet. So the next one is grounding yourself. As women, we're focusing on always like this type of posing, right? We're always like, super small and, and petite. But then when we start lifting weights, it's very much like this. Chest up, shoulders back, and legs really nice and wide and your knees are bent. So it's very a different feeling as you're going into it. But just remember it's about grounding yourself so it's strong and you're feeling that balance. The next one is really about activating it. So let's go ahead and do one together. So grab your bar and let's go ahead and place the bar so it's shoulder distance apart. So notice it's just right underneath my shoulders, if that makes sense. What we're gonna first go into is the upright row. So we picked up the bar, it's close to our body, it's a good weight for us, now let's ground ourselves. So go ahead and open up those legs. The knees are soft. What I mean by soft is slightly bent, never hyperextended. Why, because that stops the blood flow. We're gonna roll our shoulders back and then we're going to activate our core. That's always going to be the most important thing because that's gonna always be protecting our back. Okay, so next we're gonna go into that upright row. We're just gonna go and bring it as high as we can with our elbows up. Now remember, that bar is always having to be very close to the body, all right? Common mistake I see is that people keep the elbows down and they're lifting the bar like this. No, 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 never, all right? Anytime we lift that bar up over our head, we just keep it right close to our body, as close that we can, which means our elbows have to lead the movement here. Got it? So everyone do it with me now. All right, let's go ahead and do some upright rows with each other. Really ground it, so open those legs, soft those knees, tighten that core, roll those shoulders back, chest is lifted, and that head is neutral, so you always keep it right in front. You never are turning your head like this. We're always looking straight forward. Good. So right now we lifted it correctly, we're activating it, and now the focus here is controlling it. We're really focusing on digging our heels into the ground. We're not doing any swinging motion or anything like this. We're going very slow and controlled and we're activating and squeezing those muscles. All right, great work. The reason why I wanna teach you this is because I wanna show you the next step, which is bringing the bar up over the head. But we have to have that twist in there. Do you see that? So let's go ahead and do it again with each other. So you're in an upright row, the elbows drop, and now we can bring it up over our head in anything that we wanna do. If we wanna just do shoulder presses, or if we wanna go into those squats, or if we wanna do those lunges, whatever thing that we wanna do, now we have that full control, okay? So let's go ahead and do it again, all right, you ready? Go ahead and put your bar on the ground. Now remember, we don't pick it up far away from us. First step is we look at the weight, we make sure it's a light weight, it's close to us, we pick it up, and the next thing, we ground ourselves. Open those legs up, soften the knees, 
tighten the core, roll those shoulders back, okay? Next one, let's go ahead and go into that upright row again. So activating the core, squeezing through the muscles and controlling the movement, pushing the heels into the ground, taking out any swinging motion and very slow and controlled. Now, flip it, rotate it and press it up. So same thing here, ground yourself. I'm just gonna bring it, I'm just gonna go down on my knees. You stay there, but I just wanna show you the full movement here. So bringing it to right below your chin and then squeezing it up. So you're gonna be feeling this all through your shoulders. Such a great arm workout, because you're gonna be working those triceps as well as it's coming down, the triceps are controlling it. Beautiful, you're doing awesome, I'm so proud of you. All right, let's go ahead and go into the next one. Bent over rows. So what we, what we do here, knees are soft, all you're gonna do is hinge the hips back where all those knees are still soft. Okay, so let's do that again with each other because this is a very, very important one that we're gonna be doing in deadlifts, in good mornings, all sorts of things. So holding that bar, I'm just gonna hinge the hips back. Now notice that my bar is really close to my legs here and it's not out here. Ah, remember, the bar is never out here. Why? Because it puts that torque into our back. So we bring that bar close, bringing those, the weight over the midline of our body so everything's nice and uh, focused here. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna squeeze those elbows back, bringing that bar to like kind of towards the belly button area and then back down. Just looking straight at the ground, keeping a nice good spinal alignment. Yeah, feel it. So right here, remember, we're activating it. So what we wanna do is activate our core because remember, that is what's protecting our low back. So really bring that belly button back towards the spine, squeeze it, and then keep that weight in through your heels. The knees are soft. You're not doing any swinging or fast motion here. You're really controlling it. So that way, our overall goal is that we start to feel stronger, more confident, and we start reshaping our bodies. That tight toned physique, right? Good. And we can go ahead and stand up. Awesome, hopefully you enjoyed this video uh, for Barbells for Beginners. Kind of just gave you a few little ways on how we can lift it, activate it, and control it. I showed you a few demonstrations, but if you want to see more videos like this, I'm gonna have some more videos that show you uh, probably about 20 different workouts that you can do, whether it's squats, lunges, chest press, uh, good mornings, lunges, all that fun stuff. I'm gonna shoot in another video for you. So go ahead and check that one out. Thanks for watching and happy reshaping your body confidently and overcoming all of your fears with it. Lots of love, bye.